tackling this kind of waste, fraud, abuse, bureaucratic bloat, we're going for the stuff that's basic common sense that most Americans actually agree on. And I hope we're going to actually be able to help unite the country by eliminating waste, which is something that all Americans, regardless of partisan affiliation, can get behind. And that's how Elon and I are thinking I about it. Well, that was Vivek Ramaswamy touting the new Department of Government Efficiency that he and Elon Musk will be running. Now, also known as Doge, this temporary agency will partner with the White House and Office of Management and Budget to drive structural government change from outside the government. Now, they put out their first messaging on X yesterday, writing this, working overtime to ensure your tax dollars will be spent wisely. So what have we been spending some of our federal funds on? Let's review. Almost $550,000 went to a Russian lab to run experiments on cats' brains. That was spent by the National Institutes of Health. $3.7 million of funding went to a study on monkeys and gambling. Another NIH fascinating project. And the State Department awarding tens of thousands of dollars for drag shows in Ecuador. And that's just the tip of the wasteful spending iceberg. Here's Senator James Langford rattling off just a few government spending projects at a House hearing last year. Watch. Last year, the State Department did a grant to Ecuador to host 12 drag shows in Ecuador with American tax dollars. Now, may have different opinions in this room on drag shows. I'm just asking the simple question, is the best use of American tax dollars to actually fund drag shows in Ecuador with U.S. tax dollars. National Science Foundation last year did a study of butterflies in Europe. So we funded with American taxpayer dollars. Last year there was also a uh, NEA grant that was done to set up a display in uh, Brooklyn for the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Which, by the way, is not even an American band. We had an almost, uh, well, $350,000 grant to study smart toilets. It was one of the grants that we actually paid for with our federal tax dollars last year. Uh, we also had a grant that was done studying colonial Mexican soundscapes. We, last year, did a study on helmets and seat belts in Ghana to be able to study whether seat belts and helmets were effective for saving lives in Ghana. Can I just go ahead and answer that question for free? Seat belts and helmets are a good idea. They save lives, free. A squander of what your money, guys, the, the, the government's money, that is your money. So let's show you a few more things of outrageousness that our tax dollars are being spent on. $100,000 to see if a sunfish is more aggressive when given gin or tequila. Oh my gosh. One million dollars to see if selfies make you happy. $1.5 million to study the mating calls of country frogs to see if they are different than city frogs. That. Cheryl, is what hardworking oh Americans' tax okay. dollars are going to. Oh, I have more. Why is the University of Mississippi spending uh, $12 million on mon for monkeys on meth? And why did the EPA <laughs> spend 620 grand for armor and night vision equipment? Somebody explain that one to me, but I'll tell you what, the biggest one that killed me was the fact that the IRS between October of 21 and 23 uh, they've got they've got fifty million dollars in unpaid taxes taxes from their own employees. Whoa! IRS employees wow. owe fifty million dollars wow. in back taxes. Uh. I want that. I want the IRS so gutted at this point. And Elon Musk, remember what he did with Twitter? He he slashed out seventy percent of the of the employees at Twitter. When he wow. I can't wait for that. Just pull to point that out. Smash the glass house of the <laughs> IRS. But I have to tell you, the other thing too is why does Anthony Fauci and Rand Paul pointed this out? Why does he have a fifteen million dollar security? Yeah, you we covered that. Out here on this couch, Harris. And the, at the end of the day, the whole point is now President Trump is saying, not anymore, not on my watch. We are going to audit the government and we are going to stop the, the spigot of hemorrhaging and we are also going to do a better job auditing because it's clear that Americans do a better job auditing their own finances than the government does. <laughs> So a lot of that, and then I'm looking at that federal spending and adding up what you just called out, Cheryl. And, and all of that ends up being relatively small money considering how much they want to cut. 
But here's the thing, the way that you change the structure and the texture of things is to make small cuts. You said it earlier, Emily, you're gonna not do this with a shovel, you're gonna do it with a scalpel. And that's how you change government from the inside out. Little, wait, who's Pete Hexeth? Well, we could go on about the double Bronze Star winner. We could go on about his military service. Let them find out what kind of strategist he is as a CIB combat infa yeah. infantryman badge. Let them find out how great he was on the ground leading people. But my point with all of this is you have until July 4th, Independence Day in 2026, to get this done. That's what the president-elect has told Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy. And the reason that is, is you will have changed so much government that the last two years of your presidency, with possibly a flip in one house or the other on Capitol Hill, will have a new texture of government behind it. You'll really start to feel the cuts and the things that they're doing. I love the deadline.